talk well, to uh, Jesse Ritka for a moment here. Yeah. Winding the down the big story. What was the, the weather story? The weather. What was the weather story of 2013? Ooh. That's Abnormal? A tough one. Yeah, we were kind of all over the place. I mean, February, more than 20 inches of snow. December, almost 20 inches of snow. I don't know. We're kind of all over the map. Temperatures this summer were pretty warm as well. I think we'll try and recap that later on today. Awesome. <laughs> all right, well, let's talk about the snow. Of course, we're ending 2013 on a very cold and very snowy note as the snow showers moving now into Jefferson and Walworth County. This is one little band that's going to swing through tonight. This is what the winter weather advisory is for for the overnight hours. Notice there is a stationary front, though, off to the west. This is what we've been watching. We were monitoring yesterday saying two scenarios. One scenario, we get a decent amount of snow. Excuse me. The other scenario, Chicago gets it. Look at the band. It is heading more towards Chicago now. So we're looking more along the lines of three to six inches of snow. And the main problem with this, it's going to be very light, very fluffy, and very compactable underneath your tire. So as you're headed out to some of those New Year's parties this evening, going to be looking at some slick spots on the roads from the snow. The visibility is going to be dropping as well. You can see in Kenosha, it looks a little bit hazier. Light snow showers are going to be moving in within the next hour. And of course, in addition to the snow, we have that cold, a little bit warmer than yesterday. Not by much, though. Nine right now in Milwaukee, seven in Waukesha, as well as in Beaver Dam. At least we're all above the zero degree mark. Some of us will drop down below that later on tonight as well. So there's that winter weather advisory again. Lasts until noon on Thursday for Milwaukee, Racine, and Kenosha because we are expecting some lake effect snow on Thursday. Otherwise, it expires at six o'clock on Wednesday for Jefferson, Waukesha, and Walworth County. So if you're going out tonight, here's your planner. Come take a look. Put on the layers seven degrees at 8 p.m., six degrees at midnight. Wind chill of five below, though, you need to put on the layers. This is actually a short sleeve dress and had to throw my sweater on underneath it. Five degrees at 2 p.m. when you're heading on home. Let's time it all out for you, though. Again, there's that one band tonight. May catch a break tomorrow morning in the action as far as the snow is concerned, but the light, steady snow continues right along the state line is where the worst of it's going to be. And again, Chicago and northern Illinois are going to see a bit more snow from this. And then heading into your Thursday, still some lake effect snow expected, so that could bring an additional one to two inches for some of us. Really depends on if those lake effect bands set on up. Then high pressure returns, and that's going to dry us out just in time for Friday before a light little warm up in the forecast for your weekend. For tonight, though, again, a cold one, so bundle up as you're watching the ball drop. Zero degrees in Waukesha, four below in Fond du Lac, two below in West Bend for tonight in Milwaukee. And then tomorrow, light snow showers continuing. A little bit warmer, though. Many of us in the teens, at least we get out of the single digits, still have light snow showers expected as that wind swings around from the northeast. So now take a look at these snow totals. These are from tonight all the way through Thursday. This is not just for the winter weather advisory totals are going to be the highest along the state line. So you could see five, maybe a six inch or two in Lake Geneva as well as in Kenosha. Also looking at three to five inches from Walworth County through uh, Milwaukee County and lighter amounts up to the north. So Fond du Lac, you're not going to see a whole lot of this snow. And everybody who sees snow, it's going to be that leaf blower snow. So very light and fluffy, but again, could create some slick spots on the road. So take it easy. There are some warmer temps on Saturday and Sunday with some light flurries expected on Sunday. And another bitter blast. Six on Tuesday. It's winter. Yeah. I'm done with it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's you not got done two with more us months. Now. <laughs> All right, Jesse, thanks.